Ah, uh, welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Undertale on Playframe. I hope you're having a nice, chill day. Laying on the floor, feeling like garbage or whatever it is you're up to. I'm having a chill day. <sighs> I'm so glad to be playing this again. It's just as lovely as I remembered it. Honestly, the first time I played Undertale, I liked it. I liked it pretty well. It, and I played it right around the time it was kind of starting to, uh, like, set the world on fire. Like, uh, uh, it had come out, I think, a month or two. I can't remember exactly when, but, uh, it was getting to the point where various people, like, various friends were telling me, you need to play this. This is something really good. And it was, the interesting thing was, it was, like, friends with game tastes that were wildly different. Uh, just, I was getting recommendations from, the same recommendation from people who I usually wouldn't get similar game recommendations from, and uh, that kind of immediately alerted me that this was something uh, worth checking out. But the interesting thing is, I didn't, like, fall in love with it fully the first time I played. I, I enjoyed it, I thought it was a lot of fun, but it wasn't really until later when I learned more about what was going on under the hood with the game, and, uh, how many other different ways you can play it, and it, it just took me a bit of time to fully appreciate what this game is doing, and it's one of my favorites now, uh, despite the fact that I haven't played it again until now. I guess people who have played it before know why I haven't played it again until now, but, uh, the rest of you will find out soon enough. Anyway, let's get up. That was a good time. Look, thank you. Well, that was nice. Thank you. I agree. I'm glad we both feel that way. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it, sometimes. <laughs> the computer's internet browser is opened to a music sharing forum. Ooh, are you musical? I like your headphones. The computer's inter- ah, right. Um, it's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Oh yes. Uh, this CD is labeled Gula Day Music. <laughs> play it? Yes. You play the CD. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> this CD is labeled Spook Wave. Play it? Oh, yes. Love it. Dang. That ambience. Ambience. Whatever. It's like my whole body is being spooked. <laughs> it's very good. This CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Aha. Uh -huh. It's Spook Tunes and the other one's Spook Wave. I like it. Oh, a classic Spook Tune. They don't make songs like this anymore. Ah. Uh, this is a good time. I like this game. Thanks for hanging out. Naps to book. All right, sorry, we're still listening to the music. Um. Uh, turn it off. There we go. Anything else? Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. Okay. Well, thanks for inviting us into your home. Farewell. Ah, still can't get into this one, right? We cannot. So be it. All right, then. Um... Huh. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> uh... Oh. Look who's down there. I'll talk to you in a second. Snail, snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail, reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail, so snaileth Sam Buell. <laughs> uh, I've been long overdue for a second house. <laughs> got, a, got a new shell, huh? And you. This snail is counting dollar bills. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, 
Welcome to Blook Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Interesting. Really, I'm working. I don't want the boss to get mad at me. I think... I think you're the boss. Yeah, especially since I'm my own boss. <laughs> I like your book. I won't bother you. I do want to know what's going on over here, though. Oh, hi. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10 gold to play. Oh, let's play it. Sure. Okay, press A to repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Yes. Two. One. Go! Encouragement! Encur this... Snail? Snail, are you okay? Snail? Um, the encouragement doesn't seem to be helping. Maybe you need more. Encourage! Encourage the snail! S snail? Snail? Snail, are you okay? Snail? Snail, is this... is this too much? Uh-oh. I think the snail's on fire. Um... Snail! Stop being on fire! Be extinguished by encouragement! Race end! Oh, looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. <laughs> um, snail, do you want to try again? Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder... Right. Uh, one more. Okay. I will give you one encouragement. Actually, you're doing kind of fine just now. Alright, you're slowing down a little, though. Here, one encourage. You can do it. Go, snail. Go, thunder snail. I believe in you. You can do it. You're not even needing a lot of encouragement from me, honestly. I'll give you one more. You can do it, thunder snail. Go get him. You can make up the difference. You, come on, you can do it. Go, thunder snail. Go! This... Okay. Well, you gave it your best. Race end. Oh, you both tried your best. But the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. <laughs> Maybe next time, Thunder Snail. Uh, I love this game. But okay. Let's uh get all saved up. Nice and tranquil. Especially after that ghost chill. Uh, Blook Acres, North East Hotland, question mark, Temi Village. We'll have to keep an eye out for question mark. Uh, ooh, good. Use the box, yes. Boy. Wait, why do I have dog residue again? I thought I threw it away. Where do I keep getting dog residue? Can I swap things here? That, that'd be kind of helpful. Uh, nope. Guess we're just gonna have to get out there and actually get hit some. The problem, everyone, is I'm too good at the video game. Uh... Oh, hello. That's a lovely background. Whoa there! I got some neat junk for sale! Uh, cool. I don't suppose. Ha! I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Though, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Temi Village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember! <laughs> okay, um... Well, what do you have? Crab apple. Looks like a crab, but heals a lot. CT, which speed... It speeds you up in battle. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, cloudy glasses, which... Wait a minute, five defense minus five defense. Invincible longer. Oh, maybe... Like, maybe this gives you zero defense, but... Once you get hit, like, your invulnerability lasts longer afterward? That could be interesting. And a torn notebook. Invincible longer as well. And that one's a weapon. So, okay. That's tempting, because it's not like we're attacking, but if we get the, uh... But if we're invincible longer, that could be great. I'm gonna have to buy that once I've actually got space for something. We need to find Tem Village. Uh... Okay, let's talk. Tell me about yourself. I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Uh, that emblem back there. Ah, huh? You don't know what it is. 
What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Rune. Ah, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as I always say. Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. I've heard that. Whoa, emblem's meaning. So that's cool. So the, I had forgotten that Delta Rune is a thing that's name dropped in Undertale. Uh, that's really cool. Because that's like the name of the follow-up game. Uh, not really a sequel, is it? No, I mean, it seems just like a follow-up. From what I can tell. We're going to play it later, is my point. I don't know when, but I look forward to that. Uh, so, what else? That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangles symbolize us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes... something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Oh, tell me of the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the angel of death. A harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> I like him. Uh, tell me of the king. King Fluffy Buns is a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Huh? Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it, but if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. Oh, we're gonna have to do several return visits, it seems like, to that weird room with all the rejection <laughs> under Papyrus' sink, and to uh, this fine archaeologist turtle. Historian turtle? Turtle. Tell me of Undyne. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch you back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. <laughs> I will when I have space. Don't be shy now. Be careful out there, kid. I will. What's directly south of here? Uh, nothing. I haven't talked to Papyrus. Do we have a signal again? Is the river person there today? Oh, cool. Okay, we can talk to the Papyrus again. Oh, well, let's backtrack a little bit and hear some more. Papyrus? If you see a shop, you should stop, drop, and roll into some great deals. Because we're having a fire sale at my imaginary store, which sells flames. <laughs> uh, Papyrus is having fun. That's good. Hey, you're near Undyne's house. That's to the left, upwards. L upwards. All the other directions go to the wrong house. North, ghost house. East, turtle house. South, trash house. <laughs> so that's the house we saw up here. It's Undyne's house. It looks fierce. Matches its owner. But okay, actually, does Papyrus say anything up here? Now that we've gone upwards. That's Undyne's house. Let's go there and hang out someday. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe later. Okay. So I guess all that's left is for us to go eastward. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. Hmm, we've heard of this. There's only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power, equivalent to seven human souls, attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Ah. Uh, does this waterfall have a secret? No? No? Okay. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Hmm. Well, I managed to get down here, and all I did was trip. Uh, oh, I love the trees. Oh, hey! You're finally having a use, little mushrooms. With your squeaks. Hooray. Ah, uh, 
Awesome. Ah. Whoa. Hey, what just lit up up there? Ah! Special enemy Temmy appears here to defeat you! <laughs> With a very good design. Temmy, by the way, is the name of kind of the lead artist. Well, I don't really know what her title was working on this. Like, she's the artist that Toby got the most help from in creating the uh, art assets and pixel art for this game. She's a great pixel artist in general. She also streams. I will link to things like that down in the description below. She's great. Um, Act. Temmy. Check. Temmy. Rated 10 out of 10. <laughs> Loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic. Hoi, I'm Temmy. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, unfair. Whoa, whoa. Temmy vibrates intensely. <laughs> yes. Um, hmm, do we flex? Do we talk? Do we feed Temmy flakes? I don't think we have Temmy flakes. Does it work? Temmy only wants the Temmy flakes. No, so hunker dies. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, no, whoa, ho, 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 ho. whoa, help. Gracious. Temmy. <laughs> Temmy is trying to glomp you. Tem, no. Um, uh, talk. You say hello to Temmy. Hi, I'm Temmy. Uh, nope, that's, uh, whoop, uh, uh, nope, stop, quit. Oh, uh, jeez. Temmy. Smells like Temmy flakes. Uh, oh, great. Okay. Hooray. Spare. You won. And no money. Well, thanks anyway, Temmy. What? That uh, little patch up there just lit up. Can I? Oh, you go around, I see. I see. I'm figuring it out. Aha! I knew there was some little hidden path around here. Yes, I do think. Yes. I believe we have found it. Hoi! Welcome to Tem Village. Yay! We found the Tem Village. Hoi, I'm Temmy. And this is my friend, Temmy. Hoi, I'm Temmy. And this is my friend, Temmy. Hoi, I'm Temmy. Don't forget my friend. Hi. I'm Bob. <laughs> It's a good video game. Ah, rich history of Tem. <laughs> it's a Tem riding a dragon, looks like? Rich history, indeed. Uh, hoi, you should check out Tem Shop. We will in a moment. Uh, let's do this first. You feel something. You're filled with determination. Wait, no, determination is what that said. <laughs> uh... Good game. Um, still really full up here, I think. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Although, we're in the place where I think we can sell things. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Should check Tim's shop. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 humans, such a cute. <laughs> Thank you. I think so as well. Tim, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tim, proud parent. It's hard-boiled. <laughs> oh, goodness. We got a statue. Statue of Tem. Very famous. Very. <laughs> uh, Tem heard human allergics to Tem. That okay. Tem understand. Tem also allergic to Tem. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Allergies. Hoives! <laughs> uh, goodness. This game. Feeling of being watched. Indeed. Yikes. What about you? Mushroom dance, mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? Whoa. It symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here, by my hyphae? 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 I don't know the word. My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. Huh. Can I get another one of those? Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? 
If only I could see the world above. But even if the barrier was open, how could I leave? Quite the poet. Got anything else for us? Love your beat. If only I could see the world. Okay. Well, good seeing you all. Um. Hoi, welcome to the Tim shop. Cool. Whoa, your face. <laughs> I love the Tim shop. So, if we were to buy things. Hoi, welcome to Tim shop. Uh, let's see. Tim flakes. Heals 2 HP. Food of Tim. Uh, Tim flake on sale. One gold. Discount food of item, or discount food of Tim. Uh, Tim Flake, expensive. <laughs> food of Tim, expensive. Uh, a thousand gold, Tim pay for co colleague. <laughs> Tim pursue higher education. <laughs> we don't have that much, but we could potentially get that much. I think there's a way. So, if I remember correctly, uh, you can... There's something you can buy... So you can sell things here. Let's go ahead and start with that. Uh, sell. Monster candy for 25 gold. Bandage for 150. Not bad. Uh, snow piece? No. Uh, bicycle? Okay, so bicycles and nice creams, uh, we're getting, like, nothing for. Or, it's a bad return, anyway. Probably the same for monster candy. I guess we just got that for free. Uh, the bandage, though, sells for great. So let's, uh, start with that. Whoa! You gotta... Bandages! Mm, I gotta have that bandages. But I gotta pay for Coleg. Mm. Tim always won on bandages. <laughs> Tim buy bandage for 151 gold. Oh, good bartering. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so excited. Thanks, purchase. <laughs> Alright, we just got a lot more money. We need to sell some more things. Um, cool. Uh, exit. Uh, let's talk. Say hello. Hoi. I'm Timmy. Oh, good. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Hoi! I'm Timmy. <laughs> Very good. Tell me your Timmy history. Us Tims have a deep history. <laughs> Tell me about the shop. Yeah, yeah. Go to Tim's shop. <laughs> You're great for conversation. Thank you. I'm gonna go get some more things to sell you, okay? Boy! <laughs> it's a good video game, as I've said. Let's use a box here. Alright. We got a slot now, so... Let's start selling some gear we don't need, because apparently that gets us some cash, and that's great. Uh, we can swap some things out here. Uh, let's see, toy knife, and... Oh, the stick. Can't forget the stick. Uh, I don't think I want to sell any of the rest of this. The dog residue sells for one, so that's like... That's nothing. Um, okay. Uh... Do we still have the dog residue because I died? I think that's why. I l died in the fight with the ghost, which is, like, I'd thrown it away right before the fight with the ghost, and it th threw me back to the save point, so that's why we still have it. Okay. I was wondering why it had reformed. Anyway, let's, uh, let's sell. Ah, hello! Sell. Uh, oh yeah, we can get some cash here. From the Mandana. Ten by Mandana for 50 gold. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, the ribbon... Tim buy ribbon for a hundred gold. A toy knife. Tim buy toy knife for a hundred gold. And stick. Tim buy stick for 150 gold. Yeah, yeah. Very good. All right. We've almost got enough uh, to send Tim to Cool Egg. But, um, let's, uh, let's see. Exit. Boy. And cool. All right. So we've got these things still. Cool. All right. Let's... I want to test a thing. Uh, first I want to check and make sure there's no more dialogue here. Tim, watch egg. Will hatch. Right. Proud parent. Uh... Human such a cute. Obviously. Hi, I am Bob. Correct. Okay. So. Thing I want to test. There are things we can buy from the turtle shop. And we can sell them in the Tim shop. And at least one of them if I remember correctly, returns a profit. Oh dear. Molt Smalls, please. What? What? Molt Smalls, very normal. What? Wait. What's going on here? Molt Small. Uh, check? Molt Small? 
It's a slime mold? Mold small, what's going on with you? What? Mold small? Imitate? You approach mold small suddenly. Whoa, whoa! Yikes! Yikes, I says. Gracious and yikes. Mold big? <laughs> Needs some distance. Okay, mold big. Um, check. Uh, one size greater than mold average. <laughs> Roar. Yeah, okay. Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Just gotta... Okay, no, we're fine. Cool. Mold big gyrates reservedly. Uh... Um... Alright, so you need distance, so no hugging. Lie down? You lie down. Mold big lies down, too. Mold big understands life now. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, okay. It's hiding in our little corner here. I hope it keeps working. Whoop. Careful. Careful. Perfect. Mold big needs some distance. Okay, well, let's unhug. You don't hug mold big. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Slime sounds. Whoa. What are you doing? Don't shoot mold big, please. Mold big. Mold big seems comfortable with your presence. So that's great. Hey, we did it. Be gone. You surprised me, bud. Forgotten about mold big. Anyway, here we go. See, shop is even pretty close by. That's great. Whoa there, I've got some neat junk for sale, and I want it. So let's see. Uh, I kind of want one torn notebook anyway, because it seems, especially if you're not attacking, seems like this just is a straight-up benefit, if I understand the description right. Um, uh, okay. Cloudy glasses also. Let's grab one of those. I don't think I'm going to equip that one, because I like having defense, but let's see what these sell for. Tell you what, let's just go ahead and get another of each. There we go. Cool. All right, so it was 30 for the glasses, 55 for the notebook. Let's see if this works out for us. Do 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 do. Ah, Washua and Aaron. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, uh who's gonna be easiest to get rid of? Washua probably, I think. Like clean. Yes. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Phew, I'm sweating. Uh, okay, whoa. What does blue mean? Oh, blue means I can hold still. Ah! Did I get the green? I don't know if I got the green. It smells like Muscle Farm. Okay, good. Come on in, the water's fine. <laughs> ah, jeez. Look out, look out, look out, look out, look out, look out! Aaron is splashing you playfully. Hey, now. Uh... Uh, I guess we'll do the flexing thing. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Okay. Just gotta dodge for a while. We can do it. Just gotta be good at dodging. And then we'll win. Flex. Oh, boy. Oh, careful, 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 careful. And one more flex. Perfect. We win. Fantastic. Okay. And I got us some more money, too. Hooray. Now, let's see. 30 and 55, right? I believe that's what we paid. Sell. Okay. Notebook only gets us 50 back. Glass, clog glass <laughs> gives us uh, 50 back, though. So we can, okay, we can buy clog glass and bring it here to sell to Tim and make a bunch of money. That's great. Let's, um... I'd go ahead and get rid of one of these anyway. Uh, torn notebook. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And... Clawed glass. And clawed glass. I'm gonna keep that one and wear it, though. Actually, on that thought... Uh... Torn notebook. Info. Attack of two contains illegible scrawls. Increase, uh, invincibility by six. Nice. Okay. So that, that just buys us more time and vulnerable. Yeah, that, that's great. That is perfect for our playstyle. Equip. You equipped the torn notebook. Fantastic. And the other item was the ballet shoes. Great. Okay, we could sell that. Probably for a decent amount. Yeah, all right. 80. Sure. Whoa. You got a ball shoes. Mm, I gotta have that ball shoes. But I gotta pay for Coleg. 
Uh, Tim always wanted ball shoes. <laughs> uh, there you go. Oh man, we're really close. We're almost there. Okay, tell you what, everyone. We're gonna call it uh, a day here. I'm gonna do some back and forth runs to uh, make some funding. And uh, then we can maybe send Tim to college and uh, have some more gold to work with for the future. Does that sound good? All right, take it easy. And I will see you tomorrow for more Undertale. Goodbye!